What is up, planet? It is the priest. I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be looking at what your soul mission is. So, for those of you who did not catch my last video, you can go back. Um, a couple of weeks back, I posted where are you on your soul journey. So that's going to kind of give you an idea of where you currently are, and then where you're trying to go, your destination in your journey. So this video is going to focus on your soul mission, your overall mission in this lifetime. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. I'm super excited for those of you guys who have already purchased my book and already started reading it. I'm really, really grateful that you guys partook in my mission and open up to a lot of the guidance that I have involving just being free. So because of that, I have started a webinar journey called the soul journey with the tarot priest. And so this webinar is a live interactive um, webcam feed where there's a chat room where you guys can ask questions and we'll be doing an interactive general reading and focusing on where you are in your soul journey, what your soul mission is and higher self messages and so forth. So if you guys are interested in that, you can find that link down below in the comment section and also in the description box below, or you can simply follow me at the tarot priest on Instagram because I'm way more interactive there than I am on YouTube. So let's hop into today's reading. Here's a close up view. I have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three and deck number four. This is the white deck, the brown deck, the black deck, and the clear deck. All right, let's see what your guys' soul mission is. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is what your soul mission is in this lifetime. All right, strength, patience, sanctuary, the tree of illumination, Homeward Traveler, and I'm just going to pull one more here, and one more here, and one more here, just to kind of get an idea before I go into the other ones. All right, so right off the bat, I definitely feel like you guys could be an empath. Um, and, and so with the empath energy, what I have expressed in previous videos is just simply that you guys need your own sanctuary time, and uh, you need your own kind of downtime to decompress because... You've been equipped with, I like to call the empath ability a gift. Um, basically, you could just really put yourself in the shoes of other people. And so what happens when you do that is you take on a lot of the things that they're also dealing with. Um, but you have a mission here to kind of find yourself. Find yourself, find your pathway, but most importantly, finding your truth. Um, this is not something that I want you guys to overthink. This isn't something that's magnificent like oh my gosh my soul mission like i think that we put a lot of pressure on these things because really for you guys um with stop overthinking and keep facing your true north tells me that you are overthinking a lot of things like there is a longing that i'm feeling from you guys that is just simply wanting peace and tranquility and stillness and so this tells me also that a lot of the soul mission here in this lifetime is for you to simply find peace in the midst of chaos so in order to do that, you first have to connect with who you are, having awareness of uh, what you are. Also, what I'm getting for you guys, deck number one, your mission is to really find your own path without the opinions and the out outside perspective and judgments of others. So the expectations, the obligation that others have on you, I really feel like this is you getting back to a place where you understand that you can have the desires of your heart without needing the help of others. Meaning this means that you're struggling to kind of lead yourself or you're always looking for guidance from others or opinions or outside observation. What Spirit is saying for you guys is your mission is to find your own pathway. And this means to basically decompress all the things that you've thought about life and getting back to like a blank slate and figuring out what do I truly believe? What will really bring me peace? And I really feel like following peace is, is part of your soul mission. Now with that comes financial things. So when I say peace and tranquility and stillness and calmness, I mean that this is throughout everything in your life, your finance, your finances, your relationships, um, just the everyday day-to-day -day thing is, is to follow your peace and follow what brings you the most peace. I feel like you guys have been through a lot of things, but I, I need you guys to understand the same thing I'm gonna tell the other three decks, your journey, is going to be 
the template for your purpose and how you will help other people. So all of the things that you guys have been through and overcame was not just to kind of go through it. It was for you to kind of have a template so that you can also bring that strength and peace to other people. Um, and so right now I'm really feeling that there's a heavy sense for you guys to just simply relax and find yourself. That's part of your soul mission is to find yourself, increase awareness and trusting in that voice because what's happening is your soul is traveling and what it's looking for is your you. It's looking for yourself. So there's, Spirit is basically saying there's a sense of reunion between you and your soul uh, that's necessary for you to feel complete. So some of you guys who have these voids um, that you feel like are just really, really deeply um, rooted is because there is a longing for that connection, not just with, you know, with your intuition, but with yourself. So your quest and your mission is to find yourself and to follow peace in the process. All right, let's see what else is here. Now with the, I have everything I need to pr prosper. The reason why this is up here, guys, is because a lot of the issues that you guys are dealing with and have been dealing with in the past revolve around uh, finances. Like I say, finances, money is not going to make you happy but it is an accelerator to happiness um so you no longer have to wait to book that vacation you no longer have to wait to get that car that house to do these things so really i've, I've started to see money as an accelerator towards happiness but not happiness itself and so the peace is also peace of mind with being financially free so this is something too that you're here to accomplish and to have revolution with is just understanding what abundance is and overcoming that in a prosperous way because that's how you're coming up is a very prosperous now we also have heart awakening awaken to acceptance and divine love so another thing with the peace is the love okay so yes you guys are very strong you've been through a lot of things there are reasons why you needed to go through that um, but it says to look for the gifts in the situation so all of the things that you went through has given you the knowledge and equip you to be able to help other people. And that's part of your mission. It, and, and this is really cool because our mission and our purpose has absolutely nothing to do with us and everything to do with others. But we first must feel complete and fulfilled in our own self before the mission begins. So with you guys, it's like the mission has is already started and it's with you. You are going to be the first person that you save before saving the world or helping the world or equipping the world on how to do that. But there is a longing also for acceptance, you accepting yourself. And again, that's what I'm saying. Like you are a mystery to yourself. Discover yourself, have fun with seeking that. And also with the patience card here is just have a little bit more fun also. Okay. That's what's coming up because your soul mission, you're already doing it, but I feel like there's a sense of anxiousness sometimes when it comes to the, the future and depression sometimes when it comes to the past or just mental things that I feel like you guys are dealing with. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. So the mental thing is you making a decision on what your truth is and following that 100%. Um, the more that you're honest with yourself, the easier it will be to find yourself, okay? So with the Two of Swords, this is about also trusting yourself. Remember in the beginning I said, sometimes you guys have this doubt about yourself in the sense of being able to accomplish these things that you want to do on your own. And so you look for outside help or assistance to do that, but you're already equipped in, in being able to do this. You're just simply overthinking it. But if you introduce a little bit more fun, remember guys, life is an experience, right? Um, don't overcomplicate this. I'm seeing that there is a little bit of overcomplications, but the reason being is you need to decide who you want to be. You need you want you need to decide what you are in seeking yourself in that. And so this is about making a decision. There's a little bit of confusion with trusting your judgment and trusting your truth, but that's where the increased awareness comes in and trusting your inner voice. Now, the next thing that I have is I surrender and I know how to go forward. You guys could be a Scorpio. You don't have to be um, or Leo, because I do see those two signs. But again, that's just what I'm seeing on the board. If you're here, it's definitely for you. This is releasing the things in your life. So your sole mission is simply to find yourself to when you find yourself, everything else will align, meaning your finances will align, your relationships will align, your fulfillment in life is is here to align, right? So your mission is to be fulfilled, to just simply experience life and have fun, to just, you know, create with this big canvas that we have. And again, 
I need you guys to understand that you have been equipped for this lifetime to be able to obtain the desires of your heart. They would not have been given to you if they were not for you, okay? So a lot of this that you're doing is overthinking and you're creating these obstacles that are unnecessary. Um, so just to simply follow what brings you peace. If it does not bring you peace, do not follow it. It's very simple. Um, and surrender, okay? Now, surrendering is where the spiritual aspect comes in into terms, okay? Let's see what else you got here. Yeah, don't dim to fit in. Um, the initiation, I figured that. I don't know if you guys watched the other video that I mentioned earlier in the intro, but there is another video that you guys can watch about where you're at in your soul journey because right here, there's an initiation. It seems like you guys are either going through or coming up to the initiation. The initiation is just simply, spirituality is not religion, guys. It's, it's just a fancier word for something that we can't see that we know is there, which is our intuition, our higher self, us, our soul, okay? And so you are to follow that soul. You're meant to have much greater things than you already have. The life that you're meant to live is possible as long as you allow it to be. Remember that if you limit yourself by thinking that you cannot do this or not trusting in yourself, not trusting in your intuition, not trusting in your guidance, it will be very hard to overcome these things. These are unnecessary obstacles. And so even with the tree of illumination, there is a lot more revelations that are going to happen, a lot more understanding and a lot more truth where you're just going to be like, oh, wow. Like, it's really not that complicated. I'm just going to follow what inspires me, what makes me feel good, and what brings me peace. So you're here to stand out, and you're not here to also fall into the opinions of how other people think you should live your life. Because again, I'm seeing that this is this journey is for yourself and your intuition. And so in order to surrender and go forward, you must allow things in your life that are not bringing you peace to crumble. And that's the scary part because... Sometimes letting that go can be devastating, but the point of the matter is, is that your foundation in which you built your life is not as stable because these stable, this foundation is not predicated on your beliefs. They're predicated on others' beliefs, um, others' thoughts and how they think you should live, other obligations, expectations, or opinions, okay? So this is about trusting in your own judgment. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, yeah, absolutely. So you guys are to follow what brings you happiness what brings you peace that is part of your soul mission here and i know that sounds simple but again like i said we're all here for one thing and that's fulfillment that is happiness right that's that feeling of feeling the excitement of experiencing this life right and so don't make it harder than it needs to be and four of pentacles money is here again finances again your finances are meant to be a stream that you can create for yourself you are not to be dependent on other people's and mm, other people's opinions or direction when it comes to how you receive money meaning some of you guys i feel like are meant to be entrepreneurs or even have and i know that sounds like a really crazy word because every time i say that it's not that you guys are going to go build this entire empire but you're here to also be very prosperous abundantly, meaning that the universe will provide for you. So the your beliefs around money also I'm seeing that need to change with more of a flow. Um, you're not to compete with anyone. And also you're just here. You could be in Aries, you don't have to be. But you're just here to really become the pilot of your own plane, the plane representing your journey and towards your destiny, okay? So you're meant to do that. And that's part of your soul mission is to really detach from the people and the thoughts and the beliefs that you thought were yours and get back to a founded foundation of what you are and who you are. There's a longing for a reunion with you and your soul. Focus intention, exactly. So think about what you desire, set your sights high, expect the best possible outcome. That's exactly what I'm saying. So that's the start of the soul journey too, is to follow what you desire. Remember guys, excitement, desires, and that feeling of excitement like yes i really want to do this that is your higher self communicating with you that is a form of communication so don't overlook that let's see what your overall uh, message is so we have the dark angel all right the dark angel comes to you with a radical truth divine light divine love is always there for you without expectation or exception love will never forget you it will never stop caring for you even when it seems most likely in fact especially then the divine is reaching for you and nurturing you. Even our wounds are ways that we can discover love 
and divine grace through the healing process. When this card appears, you are being given a gift of light, even if it may seem to be a hidden blessing. So again, I see that there's a lot of time that you will be spending on your own in figuring out your pathway. Uh, you're not alone, but I just feel as though friends, family, relationships, and everything that's not bringing you peace is part of a removal in your soul mission and journey because you're here to seek that. So everything that you've been through, remember, um, again, like I was saying with the strength card, what they're saying is it's been given to you, but you have the gift of light. So meaning even in the dark, you have the ability to see the light. A dark mystery is one that helps us learn that even if things don't seem to be working out according to the timing that we believe necessary, the love and light spirit are unfailing. If a door is closed in your face, it is the wrong door for you. When you encounter darkness, how you can respond can make either the dark or the light victorious. Unconditional trust means that you give up if things, you don't give up if things get tough and understand that it's not meant to be. Relying on unconditional trust and understanding the dark mystery you are willing to go through, periods of not knowing. You are willing to continue on your path even when you are not seeing immediate results. This is about trusting, okay? Um, this is about realizing that everything that you're going through, and this is, this is just a lot of pain, a lot of things that you've been through, a lot of fears. And so it says, as you learn to put your faith in love, then fear, your trust becomes increasingly unconditional and you find the light even though the dark, even through the dark. In this way, you become initiated in the mystery of the dark angel. Then you show others how that is possible. You can help heal others from victim consciousness and show them that inner peace is possible even when they are facing the unpredictable twists or turns in their life. Like I said, this will be the template to how you will help other people. So everything that you've been through, the worst is behind you. If you could just follow the light and follow the peace, so all in all, this is your soul mission. It's really, really supposed to be enjoyable and fun seeking yourself and also seeking the truth and things, but also peace. So if you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what is your soul mission? Again, if you guys have not seen the soul journey, video you can go back on my youtube channel and find where you currently are but this is going to be what you're here to do this deck was a very relatable deck um i already know i didn't see i've only seen a couple cards that flipped up but i can really tell already if you've chosen deck number two that you are a highly intuitive individual or you're here to be a highly intuitive individual um also yeah the first card is the cloak of wisdom you already know the answer you seek trust what you know so i usually always have like one deck that kind of resonates with me this was probably that deck this is a much more elevated not to say that the other ones are not but this is more of a higher elevation of spirituality if you guys have chosen this deck okay this tells me that you already know a lot of the things that you're seeking and asking but you must learn to trust what it is that you know courage so this is about facing fears too um and i also feel like your soul mission is definitely here to bring awareness of what true spirituality is now a lot of people have been really confused and i'm not surprised that spirituality and religion are two completely different things remember that spirit is a feeling it's a connection with your intuition with your higher self it's your soul it's that essence in in depth that we can feel, but we cannot see. So we just call it a spirit because it is not evident to the five senses here, okay? And that is just what we call the 3D. We can't see it, we can't smell it, touch it, taste it, you know. So you are being asked to start walking in your path. So for some of the other people, you know, they had initiation, but your sole mission is to definitely bring awareness of spirituality and to uh, face fear to face fear and to understand that you are a limitless being and so you will be challenged to do the inevitable to do the impossible so another thing here for you guys is to live in the moment to enjoy this experience to find the secrets of life now this is a heavy group so i'm gonna be speaking pretty um like heavily you know there's stages to this i would definitely 
feel like you guys are on one of the higher stages when it comes to how to express this so you may be looking into spirituality or you may have seen things as a child but you kind of suppressed it because there was some fear there a lot of you are fearful of the spiritual realm like i'm feeling that too is um fearful in the sense of how far it will go like a lot of you guys may even have the gift of mediumship or um talking to people who have transitioned and crossed over and so there's a lot of gifts that are coming up but i feel like um your sole mission is to be open to these gifts to be open to the spiritual room so that you can use it all right so seek out your soul family again you have a soul family you have a tribe definitely um and so now it's about really really just walking in this um awakening energetic Upgrades, a way of being, integration, trust the kneeling. What is the kneeling feeling trying to tell you? So you guys should already know this, but if you don't, you know, welcome to the party of the awake in ones. Um, boundaries, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, sisterhood of the rose, priestess, beauty and devotion and mystic and teacher. So now when I say that you guys are here to educate and bring awareness of spirituality, I'm not talking about traditional teaching. I know sometimes we think like, oh, a teacher? I don't know how I could be that. If you just simply have a conversation with someone at a gas station and they're like, you know, I don't know what to believe in. And you're like, you know, follow your heart, follow your excitement, follow, enjoy life, experience this, live in the moment. That is just spirituality right there. You're teaching someone. So I don't want you guys to overlook this and think that I'm telling you to go, you know, be a teacher or anything, but you're coming up as a sole mission to be more of a tribe leader by living by example of spirituality, which means that you're following your intuition, you're following your excitement, and you're, you should be living the life that you truly desire, and you're here to figure out how to make that happen in this world. So you're definitely here as a spiritual teacher um, to teach people these things of the simplicity of spirituality would be a great start. We overcomplicate things. What are we? Why are we here? Uh, what are we here to do? These three most important questions, right? These are the things that you should be seeking and not in a boring way, not in a history book. And obviously history is ridiculous to study, but in the present moment, if you can find yourself learning more about the moment, learning more about this journey here, this experience here so that you can unlock the messages that are here for other people, you are here to help them do that. The gift, yeah, the present. So I keep seeing a lot of present moment things. Be cautious of your thoughts. So you are also here to understand that you are the spiritual being inside of this body, this vehicle, this avatar, okay? And again, that's because you are here to separate yourself from the, your thoughts because you're not your thoughts thoughts belong to someone right your thoughts who's the your so this is about really getting close connection with the spirit of you and living in the present moment because i'm learning that even in the present moment as soon as i realize that i'm in the moment i'm out of the moment it's that quickly that you can miss it in the present moment is the only time where we are actually living Okay, these things that I'm saying right now are all of the things that I've discovered in my journey that I'm now giving to you and you will then give to others what you have discovered. So you're here to discover the secrets of this life outside of the programmed matrix, meaning the way that everyone thinks life should live that we've been doing for traditions and hundreds of years. You are here to kind of seek more, okay? But the gift is the present moment, right? We are only truly living if we are alive, live, live. That's why they're spelled the same way. We have to be living in the present moment to really experience life. So you have the gift of honoring that. You should know this more. Um, and because that you do know this more, you should be living more. That's part of your soul mission is what they're saying. The healing temple, restoration, cure, and safety. So yeah, you are going to act as a restoration for people because you're bringing truth. You're bringing a deep knowledge that people are seeking. You're going on this mission to find spirituality. Now, let me say something too here, because a lot of people have been misconstruing spirituality. To be connected to spirit and intuition is absolutely an advantage, okay? You will know things that people don't know, that have to seek, that take years to find. You will know those answers. When you have access to truth, you have access to everything. Okay, so you have that gift of clear cognizance of just knowing right before you go into the room, something's wrong. You're like, mm -mm, something's off here. 
you have that gift of knowing it, but you have to trust it more. This is part of your soul mission. That clear cognizance gift that was given to you is here to help you on your soul journey. So you have an advantage. Anytime you're connected with spirit, you understand that everything flows effortlessly to and through you, and there's no need for anything. You literally have everything. This realization is what you're really seeking in fulfillment. The mother awakens, nurture, compassion, and guidance. So yeah, you're definitely here um, as a person who will uh, mother people by just simply expressing your truth that you've discovered outside of what was taught to be the truth. So there are a lot of things that you're here to do in your soul mission. A lot of this is that's coming up is heavy, heavy nature, grounding yourself, okay? You're a highly spiritual being, and it requires much of being mindful and staying grounded, being in nature. You are also an empath, so you tend to soak up a lot of things uh, around you, the people around you. So you are being asked to stay grounded, to nurture yourself, and remember, you are the first person that needs to be taken care of before you are also going out and taking care of others. Forgiveness. It's interesting that we have Jesus because we're talking about religion. There is a heavy, heavy need to spread spirituality from a place of love and not from a place of rules, okay? To flow freely, right? Spirituality, spirit flows freely. There are no borders. There are no limits. That's what you're, you're here to do is accomplish everything that you think is a limit. You're here to overcome that, okay? So that's also something that's here is because it says that you're on the path of love, light, and forgiveness. And so this is about being the bigger person. This is about understanding that once you're in 100% spirit mode, you're literally untouchable. Nothing that anyone can say can ever affect you. And that's why I said, I don't think people realize how much spirit is an actual advantage. All right, so we have eight of swords, freedom. I release myself from self-inflicted binds. You're here to be free, limitless, borderless. I'll just keep saying that. You're also here to be very abundant, king of pentacles. Remember guys, I just randomly shuffle these cards. So they're just coming out very effortlessly by just simply saying what I'm already saying. You're here to be abundant. You will understand that once you discover what you are, there is no abundance apart from you at all. Like you are abundant, you are abundance. But if you don't believe that, you will not become that. So again, these are little things that I'm learning about being and shifting in the present moment. Um, but you must make a decision to change your perspective also. So it starts with your mind, okay? This is gonna be the window to the soul, is the mind. Chariot, you guys could be a Cancer, you don't have to be moving forward, right? These are all the things that you guys are currently overcoming. You're doubting yourself, trusting more of what you know, right? You will say something or have a dream about something and you'll want to share it and you don't. And then someone will say, yeah, this just happened. And you're like, dang it. I, I knew that was going to happen. Why didn't I say anything? I could have stopped it. Speak up. You know the truth. Follow it, okay? Um, that's what these cards are just saying is like, you know the truth and not to overwork yourself, to trust. You could be a Scorpio too, you don't have to be, but to trust in intuition. So your sole mission is to discover what you are, before I get into this card, discover what you are, live in the present moment, seeking the secrets of the world, right? I found a lot of secrets. I learned that money is an accelerator to happiness. We couldn't establish whether or not money actually makes you happy, but I'm learning that it's just an accelerator to happiness. You can do things quickly. You can get what you want right away. You can do what you want. It's a sense of freedom. So this was a secret I unlocked by just seeking. You are going to do the same thing and have so many things to tell people that they're going to want to quote the things that you're saying. Like, how did you know that? How did you know that? Because you are connected to truth. You are connected to the secrets of this world. And that's what your mission is to do is to unravel that. But don't make it, don't make it overwhelming. The first ray of power, let's see what this is about really quickly. I'm just gonna give you a synopsis of what I'm picking up and connecting it. All right, so you're definitely a light worker. Definitely a light worker, heavy light worker actually. All right, the first ray of power is energy of conscious destruction. It could be used in a healthy way to eliminate the past and allow for a fresh start. This also carries a frequency of leadership. That's exactly what I was saying, guys. All right, it can assist you to stand in the truth of your light so others can find their way by it. See what I'm saying? You just doing it. You just doing it empowers and inspires others to do it. It helps you strengthen your willpower so you can accomplish any task you choose. 
And this comes to you by particular blessing and encourages you to believe in your own strength and take the intuitive way and what matters the most to you. If you are confused about which path to take or whether to continue in a certain relationship, then the first ray of power will clarify matters for you. When it moves through our lives, whatever is holding us back will be removed, either through circumstances seemingly beyond our own control or by our actions. It's an indicator that a long-term plan that was once important to you may suddenly seem as though it needs to change. Or you may suddenly get the motivation to go for something that you have been dreaming for a long time. When this ray comes and makes its way in your life, it is time to accept the loving gauntlet being thrown by the universe and take your hands off the controls of life. Again, this is more of trusting in the higher self. Be open to how your spiritual journey might be helpful in the world of politics, whether that be aligning yourself through a case or a cause that's, that resonates deeply in your heart. Speaking your truth will be very helpful at this time. Don't be afraid to be heard. That's what I was uh, kind of talking about when I said that this is about also trusting in your higher self and separating yourself from the body, from your thoughts, because there's a much more deeper connection that, that's necessary for you to complete your soul mission. And it takes a very heavy, reliant trust in the universe and higher self. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading. Um, overall, what I want to tell you guys about your soul mission is it's relatively sim similar to mine, except for you will have your own unique except you will have your own unique way of expressing this to other people. And um, you're not here to fit in and you're certainly not here to be boundless and limited. So that's what you're also here to do. So if you guys chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what is your soul mission. If you guys have not checked out the other video that I posted a few weeks back, uh, depending on when you guys touch this video, if you look back in my uh, search box, you will find where are you on your soul mission um, or soul journey. So that's going to help you as well. All right, let's just see what your soul mission is predicated upon. Trust. Definitely trusting in your higher self. Now let's see what else is here. Transcendence. Yeah. So your guys' soul mission here is to transcend, uh, but to also find something that you really love and to allow trust and flow into your life. So this means that a lot of the things that you guys are may have been struggling with, it's it's coming from a place of heavily uh, reliant more on yourself than your higher self. So what I'm saying in a sense is that you are being asked to transcend more to your higher self and see the world from a higher perspective. So what this is predicated on in your journey is to be a manifester, to also transform. Let's see what else is here. Healer, got it, rebirth. Yeah, the transformation, I'm not surprised that rebirth is here. Reinventing yourself. All right, so a lot of you guys have grown up, right? And the beliefs that were instilled into you are not your own. Um, the pathway that you grew up in was not your own either. Of course, our parents try to do the best that they can, but most of the time it's just because of how they, their parents raised us or how their parents didn't raise us and then we just keep going on but my point is that you're here to establish your own self to establish your own dreams and reality so to separate yourself from what others have said was for you you're here to reinvent yourself and to also rebirth through transformation this is healing a lot of healing energy so everything that you guys have been through right every single thing that you guys have been through from the heartaches to the breakups, to the failed jobs, to the trying really hard and feeling like you're not really progressing, to the taking two steps forward and three steps back and just feeling like you're stuck in place. A lot of the things that you're going through is for you to seek how to heal yourself so then you can first or then heal others. Now, when I say healing, this does not have to mean, don't, don't take it in a literal sense. Healing could be through hugs, it could be through words, it can be through um, encouragement. My words right now could just simply be healing you. So uh, I want you to kind of change your perspective on healing too and understand that your healing and the ability that you have to heal others in this lifetime or in your soul mission first has to start with you. You are for the first person that needs to be healed with your abilities based on the things that you've went through. Sharing your story is also part of that mission, okay? Every single thing that you've been through is what has created your faith to excel and also for your gifts of healing to progress. So anytime you're dealing with heartaches or um, hurt or pain that has happened in your life, you are being asked to stay true to your path 
as a healer. And what is healing? What does that mean to you? These are the things that are part of your soul mission is to discover exactly how you've been healing people. Do people just talk to you? Do people hug you? Do people read your books? Do people listen to your audio tapes and say that, wow, this really helped me? That really helped me? Anything that people have said that that's really helped me in your assistance is your way of healing. So your proper way of healing is gonna be the same way you've done it for yourself. So if you dealt with breakups and heartaches and you know divorces, I'm feeling that some of you guys may have been dealing with that. Other people are looking to figure out how to move on after that, how to grieve properly, how to heal myself, how to get back to peace. How do I get back to being whole again? And then that's what your soul mission is is going through right now is in a sense getting you through a transformation so that you can then help others healing heal but you must first heal completely that means releasing every single thing right anything that you hold on to from the past blocks your healing ability resentment guilt shame these are very low frequency energies so you will be dragging along in that energy versus gratitude for the things that you've went through right? Gratitude for the dark that helped you find yourself in the light. These things that have occurred have helped you become more of a healer for yourself and then a healing uh, place for others. Now, healing, it, and again, it's all in your perception because healing is simply what I'm seeing for you guys. It's just a sanctuary that you allow people to come to and you are that sanctuary for people, but you cannot be that sanctuary if you still have healing. So you first must take the journey yourself once you discover how to do that then you will actualize it and do it for others okay so you're being asked to rise up you're being asked to trust your spiritual guidance you're being asked to love yourself unconditionally yeah love is a big deal for you guys i keep talking about it so i definitely feel like the deep healing comes from throwing yourself out there um at love and feeling like you're you know getting stabbed or you know that's just the process of love right you got to take the risk you got to jump out the window and so i feel like you guys are just a sucker for love in a sense um but what spirit is saying is first you must understand that you are love um there's nothing more outside externally that you need to be that so you're learning that as well um but you're also learning to change your thoughts because i really feel like once you shift your thoughts, you will begin to heal more. Um, and this is gonna help you become more fulfilled and whole so that you can also complete your soul mission of healing others. The love, yeah, I was just saying love. I, I'm not surprised some of you guys could have dealt with a twin flame, could have been in long-term relationships that ended, like I'm talking 10 years and plus. Some of you guys, right? I'm just calling out a few groups that I'm feeling. Um, so it says, prepare for your life partner. So if you guys are wondering where love is at for some of you guys who are single on this video too, the love is also on hold because there's deep healing. Um, you don't want to have an open wound and bring someone else in and then shed blood on them because you are not properly healed. It's a wound. You have to treat it as a wound. And sometimes I feel like we overlook it or suppress it because we can't see the blood. We can't see the scab and the scarring. But this is a different type of hurt that needs to be healed. And so you're doing that to prepare for your life partner, to prepare for your fulfillment. And your sole mission, in a sense, is going to be helping other people do the same. Also, the leap, ecstasy, bliss, belief. Wow, that's beautiful. So all of the things that you're doing, right, for others and for yourself is going to really create a sense of excitement in your life and bliss. And bliss is just... All in a sense, bliss is the best way to describe heaven. So it is absolutely possible for you to detach yourself from the things that have happened to you and completely heal from that so that you can enjoy bliss. It's almost like I'm done being going through this. I'm going to use my discernment now and my intuition now when, when I am guided to meet people, when I'm guided to do these things so that I'm being a little bit more wise but again there's no way to be wise when you're jumping out the window for love or happiness um so i never want to fault you in that i want you to open yourself back up so that you can keep taking leaps into the bliss um the only way that i've discovered freedom and happiness is is to just simply fly to just simply live in the moment um to just leap every single time a moment comes and it brings excitement to just leap into that that's also your sense of healing you have a unique sense of healing and again, I, I don't want you guys to limit yourself when it comes to the word heal. 
okay? So you're here to find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. So this means that, again, your soul mission is heavily predicated on your spiritual connection with uh, intuition as well. So you're a light being, <laughs> you're a portal, mountains and lights. Don't forget to um, nurture yourself too. Nurturing yourself, you're gonna find unique, way, unique ways of healing. And you're also acting as a portal. So people will just naturally be drawn to you. You may attract people who are already broken, um, things like that. Also, you're here as a fairy energy growth, expansion, and flowering. So yeah, you're definitely here to flow and expand. Um, a lot of you guys can also have dreams or dream about this. Your mission too is to be in a very healthy, loving relationship, to enjoy life, to celebrate life. We have a lot of emotions. We also have the world card traveling, seeing the world is also part of your soul mission is to see the world, um, to expand and enjoy the journey. But I'm also feeling like a fulfillment emotionally is also something here that is a part of your soul mission and marriage and harmony. It doesn't have to be marriage. Marriage could just simply be a long-term relationship, life partner. Um, in a sense, you are here. I feel like a lot of you guys could be twin flames, but you are here also to find your uh, life partner. Your life partner is connected to your soul mission as well which is why you may have been struggling to find them because you cannot find them until you find yourself. You Once you find yourself, then you will track them because basically they're you in another body. You have the same soul, um, you're attracting them. And that doesn't, there's no label to that, guys. Don't label that, it's not a twin flame soulmate. It's just literally a, a divine connection that is that essential for your soul mission. Um, yeah, you guys are manifestors too, so you're manifesting that. This healing ability too that you guys have allows you to manifest more in your life. It, it allows you to be much more detective when things are um, internally bothering you and, and have a sense of being able to remove that. You're being protected, okay? Call back your power. Understand that you have the power to expand, to travel and do anything that you wanna do. You have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to open back up. You have the power to do pretty much anything that you're wanting to do. So this is about soul retrieval. So the healing, basically healing is just essentially removing blockages um, that are keeping you away from your soul. In a sense, connecting more with your soul, connecting more with love because you've been hurt, those type of things. So you're calling back that. Now I'm not surprised that you're an empath. Most healers are. So what happens is as an empath, you're like a sponge. And so you soak up all the energy around you, the people around you, and it's literally draining. Sometimes you guys may be drained and not even know why, but as an empath, you basically empathetic, you put your spirit in the shoes of that person. So when they're sharing these stories and sharing these messages with you, it's almost like they're dumping on you. And now I'm learning that when I hug people and they're broken and I'm, I'm feeling them in my arms and the pain is just, my God, it's like, it's a whole nother level and they're just releasing. It's like, where is that going? Where is all that energy going? It's going to me. And so it's going to go to you. And in order to be able to understand your soul mission, that's where the transcension comes. I know that I'm powerful enough to withstand all of the pain that people are dumping on me, but I still have to get grounded and be in nature and spiritually cleanse and pay attention to my body and do all those things because we are still in the body. So you will still take on those things and it's important that you know how to transition them and transcend them so that they're not just hoarding around you and on you, on here, on your shoulders. So you're a highly sensitive um, impact. Queen of Cups, I trust my knowing and follow my heart. You guys have a heavy also calling on your life to just simply follow your heart and to follow your soul, okay? I am always rewarded for what I'm doing. This is also abundantly. You are here to be abundant. You are here to be fulfilled in love. And you are here to also be able to help others do the same. Now, I trust my knowing and follow my heart. I have the energy I need to realize my goals. Now, with this, the last thing I want to say before I get into your light worker message is that your knowing, your intuition, um, your soul, and your heart, trust more of that. You're an empath, right? So trust what you feel, what feels good rather than what you think is good. Because our minds have blind spots, okay? Our eyes have blind spots. There are inner ultra light energy in this room that I cannot even see with these eyes, that I cannot hear with these ears, these certain monotones that are around me. So our mind has blind spots. Our body has blind spots. That's the point of being able to connect with your higher self is to um, have the ability to feel what the right decision is and have clarity in that. Your guys' soul mission or light worker card is spiritual service. I'm just gonna read a little bit of this and give a synopsis. 
Self-doubt can be a habit that is hard to break. It can slow down your spiritual progress in the fulfillment of your life purpose. Ultimately, it won't stop you, but if it can make your progress seem more challenging, it definitely will. It's easier to fulfill your purpose when you acknowledge your own goodness and talent and do what you love to do to the best of your ability. Realize that you are enough, that your work is good, and that you have something of value to offer. It's time to let go of fear of failure, concern about your ability, and your right to live a happy and fulfilled life of success. The universe believes in you. You are being called to service beyond that which you can accomplish and have accomplished thus far. That is because you are ready, capable, and willing to step up to another level of spiritual responsibility and freedom. Your mind, however, may question your ability. You may be afraid that you cannot perform well, that you are not skilled or experienced enough, that you are not as good as others, but that is just simply not the truth. There and these are nothing more than wounded beliefs about your self-worth. Wounded, there's that word again. Wounded, wounded, wounded. The wounded warrior. That's who you are if you guys chose deck number three. The wounded warrior that heals themselves and rises from the ashes and becomes the phoenix. It's beautiful. Um, so everything that you've been through, be grateful for the gifts that you found in this situation. If you guys are deck number three, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to the last deck, deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what is your soul mission? Also, if you guys have not found that video on my YouTube page, it's called Where Are You On Your Soul Journey? So that's going to give you an idea of where you currently are on your soul journey. All right, let's see what you guys have here. The mirror, other lives, past lives, dimensional lives, growth. So already, if you guys chose this stone, what I can tell you from the energy that I'm picking up is that there is a lot of karmic energy. I'm learning a lot about karma, actually. Karma is just all of the things that you've ran from in your past lives and in this life, which essentially is the truth. Um, the truth is what you've been running from. Uh, and basically what this means is that when you come into terms with this, everything in your life will kind of um, disappear, all of the bad things. Now I'm not saying bad things are not gonna happen, but the karmic cycles that you guys feel like are um, daunting or you're keep, you keep going through the same things and you're wondering why you're not. This is just karma energy and it's basically what universe is saying is just stop stand still so that you can hear the messages that you need to hear so we have growth and i'm just going to get into that because i'm learning a lot about karma and what karma is it's just the things that we didn't deal with before that are coming up and the more we don't deal with it the more heavier the the um the weight gets basically so compassion be gentle with yourself uh forgive yourself also is what i'm hearing too all of the decisions that you made in your life have led you up to this exact moment. In fact, if you're watching this video, think about all of the things that you had to go through and all of the videos that you had to click through and all of the things you had to find just to get to this deck to hear this message. Every single thing in your life is divine and it's beautiful. So you're here to grow. You're here to experience already is what I'm seeing, to see the light in yourself and others. Um, there's a sense of like being a little bit hard on yourself, but you're here to really manifest love and compassion for others. And I feel like your soul mission is heavily predicated on service to others. And I'll get into that. Magic, make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surround you, leadership. So you guys are also here as a leadership or a leader, I'm sorry. Uh, miracles, and let's just see what this other card is. Emotions, memories, and life force. So again, this is about finding the light through the dark, but also finding yourself also finding yourself and rising to a much more higher dimension and i know this is crazy talk but give me a second i'm gonna break it down yeah exactly that's what i was you've been training for this for lifetimes okay every single thing that you're looking for you have the ability to find in this lifetime and remember all you're simply looking for is the truth you're here as a, a sense of bringing unity love and compassion into the world i can already tell you that right now this doesn't have to be a crazy soul mission guys don't make don't make this bigger than it needs to be you can literally meet someone outside of the grocery store and just simply share love into their life by saying something nice or just simply hugging them is going to change them which and then they go home to their family and they spread that love and it, it just kind of happens as a domino effect so really what i'm feeling for you guys is don't overlook 
your sole mission because you think that it has to be some grand scheme plan of I'm gonna save the world. I mean, literally one person at a time, just sharing love and compassion is how the world changes. It starts with one person. So you're here, your double mission is, I didn't even have to say much, but channeling and uplifting humanity. Everything that you've went through, I feel like a lot of you guys may have had to discover a lot on your own. And this is because you needed to build strength and trusting in your own intuition and your own inner voice to really be sure of what you believe so that you can then transmute it and send it out into the world and speak love and human words of uplifting humanity to others. Unbound, releasing soul patterns. So karma is all over these cards. And so I just wanna take some time to explain something to you guys. There are past lives, okay? This is already karma, the mirror, other past lives. Now we have past lives on this card. So I just wanna explain that everything that you guys are going through is because of the things that you keep avoiding dealing with. And I'm only explaining this to you guys because I love you and I know that the truth will set you free and freedom is the key to happiness. So this past life, Okay, it's on repeat. In order to break it, you must do something differently. This time, give yourself a shot in believing in yourself that you can actually do this. This starts with you. Your journey is the template, is the blueprint for the purpose and your purpose and how you will help others. Everything that you've been through, but there's a necessary, like there's a necessary word that's <laughs> that's called stop so that you can be still in here because the more you keep going, it's it's like you're running from yourself and truth in life. Do not resist that. I'm telling you, it will prolong your process. You guys have such a beautiful future ahead of you of sharing compassion, but it starts with you first. Sharing compassion with yourself, being aware of how you talk about yourself to yourself, your thoughts, how you feel about yourself, and then also the memories, the emotions from the past. There is a sense of needing to live in the present moment for you if you're watching this. The past does not exist. The future does not exist. This is just right now current energy of living in the present moment right as I'm speaking to you. So work on more of enjoying life and living in the present moment and not worrying about where you're going or where you've come from. Finding that balance and that is really going to free you guys and create a space of miracle. Having faith that there's something more. Everything in life that you've experienced just based on these cards is not your determined, it's not your determined outcome. Your life still has so much beauty to live. It doesn't matter how old you are, I have to say that as well. Um, and it doesn't matter about anything else that you may think is important. So we have light activation. That's exactly what's happening. You guys are going through an awakening. Um, and, and I feel like the, the karmic energy is so heavy from your past life. And it's just simply from not stopping and dealing with what's inside right now. And so your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. You're here to help other people. You're here to share your message, to share and step into leadership, to inspire and empower others. But you must first start by in inspiring and empowering yourself and only following that which does inspire you. Awakening presence, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. You guys were the only ones that had so many cards also. Infinite abundance. So you're also here to be very abundant, um, but very spiritually inclined. So this is about following your spirit and also being aware that there's much more in this life than you can imagine. That what you see on the surface is not all that there is. So it's a sense of growing and digging deeper, right? So uh, getting out of the past. That's like really, really heavy. A lot of you guys keep looking back. You keep looking back and there's nothing back there for you except for um, just the moments that you were living in that present moment. So there's nothing back there. And so there needs to be a making amends with your past and how you will do that in what I'm feeling is sharing what you've been through with others because you never know how that's going to bring light into their life. We also have love, hope, and acceptance. So a lot of your purpose is centered around uh, living in the present moment, experiencing life, releasing the past, and also conquering depression. That's something that's coming up to your mind. That seems like a big deal here with living in the past. For some of you guys, you feel like your, your best experiences have happened in the past. And, you know, that's why we capture moments because we want to look back. But what's happening is when we capture those moments, we sacrifice even living in that moment. So that's something that you guys are here for is the eternal now. 
that's your sole mission is to live in the present moment and by doing that you're able to uplift humanity by helping them also release their past by inviting love hope 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 is never in the past hope is mostly in the future energy that we're perspiring in the present moment to attract something with love and acceptance but accepting yourself accepting the things that have happened and moving on from them so that you guys can experience the things that you're here to experience the crystal path crystal beings mineral spirits absolutely you guys are on a pathway to much more light in your life yeah we have heartbreak we have things that people have said but you guys are here to be very abundant what i'm seeing with these cards is just to wait and be patient be patient with yourself. Even running at a fast pace doesn't mean that you're always going somewhere just because you're running, okay? This is a need for patience. Things are going to come into fruition for you guys. Just wait. You're here to also be very abundant and prosperous, but this is relying again on higher self and higher spirit. Six of swords twice here. I know that peaceful times will come. That's what the card says. Six of swords is getting out of the past and transitioning into the present moment. That's really what I'm feeling heavily for you guys and to release all the hurt, all the pain that people have had by simply choosing to love the people that have hurt us the most. And I know that's a lot to ask for you guys, but this is about healing yourself. And so healing yourself and how you're going to do that is by having compassion for yourself and others. Heavy, heavy servicing energy here that you guys have. And then the last two cards is a star card. I love it. Aquarius energy. You're bringing hope to people by uh, first telling them that there's nothing in the past, but you have to see that for yourself. So then you can help others do that. There's nothing in the past. Hope is hope is literally the word that you guys should write on a piece of paper and also put it on your wall because every day you should see that really, really understand what hope means and being optimistic. Just having hope is allowing you to manifest your dreams and the things that you really want in this lifetime. Your sole mission is to uplift humanity with hope, with love, with acceptance, with releasing the things from the past by just simply accepting it and choosing to love yourself and others that were involved so you may move forward in living in the present moment. The lover's card is here too. We have Gemini. So you're also here, your sole mission, you do have a life partner for your sole mission. That's coming up again, but it's predicated on your hope. We also have cancer energy. I go forward with confidence, okay? Time to get out of the past. I love and care for myself first. Finding unconditional love is here too. You guys are kind of like a, the Joker card, like the wild card. There's so many things that you're here to do that are all centered around one word, which is just simply hope. So you're uplifting, you're empowering, you're inspiring people through compassion, through love, through faith. Miracles and magic is happening in your life just because of that. Initiation by fire. And I also had another card that came out that I didn't take and um i don't remember what it was but i'm hoping that this is the overall message for you guys initiation by fire is a life-changing spiritual cleansing your life will never be the same again allow the power of divine fire to clear and purify you inside and out this is not a time to hold on to anything no matter how much you once believed you needed it yes that is it this is not time to hold on to anything that does not best serve you and letting go, you will gain so much more than you ever imagined, opening to fresh blessings and a new life. You are, I'm done. Did I just say this? I said this on the last one. Okay. You are like the phoenix ready to emerge from the holy flames, reborn. Yes. So if you guys were also trying to choose between this one and the black one, that was something that I said in the last reading that they were rising from the, the ashes and the flames. So if you guys were, that's just for a few of you. And they also have the card that said rebirth and it says reborn. So it's, it's like a sense of there's a little bit of each of those decks. That was the black deck, the third deck. So you have the spirit of the Phoenix in you. You are able to rise again and again, even at times all seems lost. You are guided to remember this as you are now being spiritually cleansed through initiation by fire. During such times, you will feel that you're being asked to let go of relationships, situations, sometimes jobs, attitudes, belief systems that are relying heavily upon you at this point. You might have unintentionally placed more faith in that person, place, or belief than your own divine and your own truth. Wow. This can happen easily on an earth plane. A new life is a blessing, but that doesn't mean it's easily won. Sometimes the process can be challenging to the mind, even while the heart trust is what is taking place. Prepare. Perhaps tired of emotional swings, you have suppressed your emotions and believe you feel nothing, yet you are acting out unwanted behaviors or suffering from apparently random physical accidents. 
which is your subconscious way of expressing your hidden feelings. In this case, you're encouraged to be kind to yourself, to give yourself time to reflect upon your true feelings. Whatever pain you are feeling right now is a sign of emotional healing and recovery. You are encouraged to accept and process feelings, especially those that do not make sense to you. I want to keep going, but I don't want to be here too long. But wow, what a crazy message. Like I'm speechless because everything that you guys have been through all of the past like there's a little bit of answers as to to learning what you should not do so that you can live in the present moment more but this is about really really allowing a complete spiritual cleanse and a rebirth in your life as well and i'm really really hoping that this gave you guys some clarity in your reading and i'm super grateful to be a part of your experience as a spiritual guider if you guys did choose deck number four don't forget to comment down below so i can get some words of encouragement back to you guys Stay encouraged. In the meantime, I am out of here. Thank you so much for tuning in to this pick a card reading. Until next time, love and light to you guys always.